All right, Pisces, let's get into a reading. Friendly reminder, channel members and Patreon members get to see these readings first. Patreon members get bonus readings. Also have a second channel with tarot readings if you want to check it out. I have my social media down below. I only have Instagram and Pinterest. That's all. I don't have Facebook. I deleted it. So nobody can reach out to me. Because boy, let me tell you. If you got social media, you know better than anyone that people will reach out to you that you ain't spoke to in 30 years. Like, leave me alone. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we have? Interesting. You could be connected to someone where there's a blockage here. The blockage could be taking it slow and getting to know one another. There could be someone connected to you where... Okay, I'm hearing this all or nothing kind of loving's got me sleeping without you. So there could be a dynamic where it's a di divine, it's a divine connection, but there could be a one of us needs all, one of us needs nothing. That could be both of you, but there is something here where you guys are needing to take it slow. You're needing to get to know each other on a deeper level. You're needing to really spend time with one another and ask those questions that we don't tend to ask that we should but i am getting that that could be the blockage is that there is so much chemistry and emotion and passion and just like that it's really hard to take it slow for some of you this person is wanting to approach you here in the near future this has been something that they've been thinking about they're trying to get in their power so they can feel very powerful and determined when they approach you Someone here could have recently ate pizza. So you could be eating pizza tonight. You could have recently done it. Someone could also either work for a record service, be getting their car towed. There's a tow truck outside. I thought it interesting that a tow truck just randomly showed up. So that could be valid. Okay. So there's someone connected to you where there is a energy of all or nothing. And because we're in that energy, it's got you both missing each other. Okay, so there's major changes coming. Major changes. Someone's going to be stepping up. Somebody could be baking. I'm smelling. I don't know exactly what I'm smelling. They just showed me the word buttercream in my head. Okay. So in the past, someone here wasn't putting in the effort, wasn't putting in the time, wasn't dedicated to this. And that could be the reason why they don't have you anymore. Ooh. Okay, so again, there's an energy here of not coming in quickly, not being reckless. There's something here about timing being a huge factor, huge factor. This person's really anxious. This person's really worried. They're stressed. They're overwhelmed. I do feel like whoever this is is having a hard time sleeping at night. I feel like this person's feeling very dialed into you and your energy. And it's really um, annoying, if I'm going to be honest with you. Very annoying. This person's worried that because they weren't dedicated in this dynamic, that you're not going to want to reunite with them. They're scared that because they were maybe inconsistent or just plain old blah, 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 out of their mind and just not seeing it for what it is, that they have missed it. They've missed the boat. They've missed the train. No more is coming. Somebody could drive a Nissan, a black Nissan. Okay. So this person is very defensive, almost karmic-like when it comes to sharing their emotions, their loves, their feelings. This person is very unbalanced, okay? Very unbalanced. And that's the reason you're needing to take it so slow. Because here's the thing. This person is like, you know what? I don't like this. I don't like that we're at a place where it's all or nothing. If I don't give you everything, I can't have you. I can't speak to you. I can't be near you. It's like, this ain't fair. 
but it's also an energy here where this person's needing to recognize that they are at a place where emotions makes them very uncomfortable, so much so that it is a problem. It is becoming a problem in their life that they are not getting in touch with their emotions and acknowledging what they're feeling and what they know to be true for themselves. So this person is wanting to approach you and offer you something, but just be aware that this person is still going to have a little bit of a wall up and a guard when it comes to their emotions and their feelings. So here's the thing. This person isn't incapable of loving you and catching feelings for you. They're absolutely capable of that. This person is incapable of telling you. This person is incapable of saying, do you know what you mean to me? Do you know how much you mean to me? This person's incapable of saying, I don't want to share you because you're mine. I love you. They can't say that. Those words are not going to come off their lips. And that's the reason that they're in a karmic energy. And they're realizing that where they're at, they're very unsatisfied with. I'm not happy. This is very uncomfortable. But there also, again, needs to be recognition that the reason this person is wanting to come towards you is because they feel that you're leaving them behind. And that's the reason you're needing to go slow is because... I think this person, again, is very, very attracted to you. But again, this person's emotionally unavailable. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Yeah. So there's a recommitment coming in where it's destined. It's destined for you to be with this person, to have met this person, to go on a journey in this life with this person. Here's the thing, though. It could very quickly turn into a strictly sexual, passionate only connection. Now, some of you, you've learned this, you've recognized this, and you're like, oh, hell and high water, it's not going back to that again. And because you've learned it, it's not going to do that again. However, this person will be coming towards you, will be trying to be back in your good graces. I'm seeing you guys enjoying one another. I'm seeing, you know, maybe going to the movies, maybe going out to eat. I'm seeing that there is a recommitment coming in. There is something that's going to be developing with this person here in the near future. But this is your warning that you need to take it slow, okay? Open yourself up to goofing off, laughing, being with this person. But be very, very aware that this person is still in an emotionally unavailable energy, if you need emotions from this person, if you need them to tell you what they're feeling, what they're thinking, it's not going to happen. If anything, it's going to make this person want to back up and run, okay? So, handle this person carefully. Handle this dynamic carefully and just be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Because if you're not careful, it can turn passionately very quickly and it's not going to go anywhere but passionately because this person is emotionally unavailable. Okay? I'm just saying it. They, they, they're they just emotionally unavailable. Yeah. But they see you as their happiness. They see you as their emotional fulfillment. Here's the thing. If this person was emotionally available, you would be the one that they want to be emotionally available with. If this person wanted to get married, you're the one they want to get married to. But I don't want that. That's where this person's at. Well, when I'm ready to fall in love, when I want to get married, when I want to have children, I want it with you, but I'm not ready. That's this person's energy, okay? What did I just say? I didn't even have to flip the Empress up to know all of this. That's what I'm saying. If this person was at a place where they could emotionally be available and in love, there would be no stopping them. They're stopping their self. And I think you fully, fully, fully know that. And if you don't, when they come back in, that's going to be the nail in the coffin. They see you as someone who's very understanding, compassionate. They see you as someone that they could grow with. But they also see you as someone who will turn your back on this simply because they're not ready. You can't come in and offer someone a fully catered meal if they just ate and they're not ready to eat again. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. You're wasting your efforts. But again, we need to acknowledge that there is something destined here. There is something here 
that you're both supposed to experience. And it doesn't always have to be so harsh and so brutal. You can enjoy life with someone and come to the agreement, you know, I love you and I care for you. Why am I about to cry? But you can't love and care for me the way that I need. And that's okay. That doesn't diminish my love for you. That doesn't diminish how much I value you. But there's a blockage here and we can't get past it. And that will give the space to this person to figure it out, to step up, to step out. This is, it, it's, it's bittersweet is kind of what I'm getting. It's bittersweet because I feel like there's something amazing here. And I feel like if this person really wants to put in the work and wants to feel that way with someone again, they can have it and they can have it with you. But that is, that's this person's choice. They have to decide whether or not they want to step up or they want to step out. For a lot of you, there will be an energy here of, yeah, red flags. Red flags here is that you can be vulnerable with this person, but they don't feel that they can be vulnerable. Be careful of giving too much to this person because it's gonna be very easy for this connection to get unbalanced. It's gonna be very easy for you to feel that you're the over giver. And I don't want you to get into that kind of circumstance, okay? How do they feel having to be without you? This person could be, oh, I lost my shoe. This person, this person, I'm struggling. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I having such a hard time talking all of a sudden? This person could be trying to keep an eye on you, but this could be some sense of an inquisitive energy this person has going on right now. An inquisitive energy. They have very fleeting feelings, and I think this person's starting to recognize that. Whoever this is, this person, it's like one day they're okay. They're okay with being alone. They're okay with the thought of, I'm going to die alone. I'm okay with that. And then the next day, it feels lonelier than it's ever felt. So this person is recognizing that they have very fleeting feelings. I also think that this person's doing a lot of soul searching around stability, legacy, family, security, marriage, things like that. This person could be manifesting some sort of new beginning and they could be taking action here in the next few weeks. But here's the thing, when this person thinks about balancing this and healing this with you, that's burdensome. That stresses me out. That's something, it's kind of like, okay, here's a good example, but for me, I need to pressure wash this apartment, apartment complex. I know I need to do it. I've been needing to do it for months. But I just haven't done it yet. Why? Because it's burdensome. Because it's going to be a lot of time. It's going to be a lot of energy. It's going to be a lot of effort. And I'm tired. That's what I'm getting here. It's like this person knows that they need to have a conversation with you. They know that they need to approach you. They know that there's something here. And they want a recommitment. They want something to develop here. And again, there's an aspect here, but let's take this slow. Let's maybe text a few times a week. I'll meet you once every two weeks. Again, be cautious, be cautious of it turning strictly sexual, but it could turn into something. But instead of approaching you, this person's been very burdened with the energy of, I need to heal that. I need to do that. So they're procrastinating. That's what I'm getting here. But in the next few weeks, this person could decide to take some sense of action very quickly. You could get an apology about something that's been burdening them for some of you. If there is something that's been heavy on their heart and they haven't spoke it, you could get an apology from them. Now keep in mind, this person does not do vulnerability well. So if they're apologizing to you, it's because they don't really feel that they're being, being too vulnerable. It's something where it's like, you know I did you wrong. I know I did you wrong. I might as well talk about the elephant in the room. But they're not gonna go out of their way to be like vulnerable, like I love you, I'm in love with you. You're the best thing I've ever had. You're the best thing since last bread. Like, you're amazing. They're not gonna do all that. 
They're not going to do all that. They're not going to tell you things like you're the love of my life. If I could see me marrying somebody, it's you. you you the cutest thing I've ever seen. They ain't going to say all that. So do not expect that from this person, okay? Because they're not that emotionally available. However, I do think that they're going to apologize to you about something that's been burdening them, okay? And then that's going to lead to some sense of recommitment. Now, recommitment doesn't mean commitment, but it could be an energy of, yeah, I'll entertain you. You'll entertain me. Let's do this for the next few weeks and see where this goes. It is time for this to come back together. But I do feel that stresses this person out. What is this message of truth, message of bad news, inquisitive energy here? Okay, so there could have been something here that they had to get over. So there could be something that once broke their heart and disappointed them that they've changed their perspective around. This could have been family. This could have been money. This could have been someone who it's like, you know, I used to make $8,000 a week. Now I make five. I had to change my perspective and see that, yeah, I'm not making as much as I did, but maybe I'm happier. Maybe I'm not spending all the time at work trying to make sure I'm grinding and getting that eight grand. Again, it could be around money, family, legacy, security. This could be a divorce. This could be a family falling apart. This could be someone finding out they're not in the family legacy. This could be someone finding out, you know what? I had my ducks in a row that I was going to be able to take over the family house and the family cars and I didn't need a retirement. Uh oh, now I do because I'm getting kicked out of the family. There's an energy here that they had to come to terms with. They came to terms with it. They changed their perspective. And now it's got them opening up their options for creative things. Like, I want to create. That's where this person's at now. And then they think of you. Okay? Now, let me... Hold on a second. I want this person's emotions because this, per, this reading hasn't been on their emotions a lot. And I find that interesting. There's a reason for that. Interesting. I just heard it's going to take a whole lot for me to settle. So, you know, maybe this person's at a place in their life where they feel like giving someone their all would be them settling. Some of us feel that way. If we don't know who we are, we don't know what we want, we don't want to get with someone until we are 160% ready. Some of us don't give a crap. That's what I feel for this person, though. I feel that this person doesn't want to feel like they're settling. They don't feel that they would be settling with you. However, I just don't feel like this person's 100% ready for it all. My God, it was tough. Okay, my heart was blocked. I was not able to receive your love when you gave it to me. Okay, yep, 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 yep. But there's something here about you being destined to be brought into this person's life. I feel that you could have opened this person's heart, to be honest with you. You could have loved this person... Why am I picking up the, okay. You could have loved this person unconditionally. Somebody could work in an office. Somebody could be a teacher. Somebody could have to use highlighters. You could be a student. Because I find it interesting that I'm talking with this all of a sudden. Give me time. I'm trying to work on becoming a better counterpart for you. See, again, this person's feeling like there's no sense of reunion or celebration because they didn't put in some sense of effort or dedication. Well, I've lost my chance. I've lost my shot. They're still going to want to approach you because they're longing for your touch, your embrace, your love, your energy, your attention. They're hoping that you guys can come back together and just pick up where things left off. Like, I don't want the awkwardness. I want, when I see you, you see me. Let's give each other a big hug. Like, I miss you so much. That's the way this person's wanting you to be towards them. I feel like a fool for losing you. That's so sad. Okay. Cotton candy. Somebody could have recently had cotton candy. Somebody could wear cotton candy perfume. Whether that's the person you're attached to or that is you. I just got a huge whiff of cotton candy. How is this person feeling? Feeling like they need to heal? Feeling like you know exactly how they feel. You've accepted me, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm sorry that I couldn't do the same for you. You deserve more than what I could give you at the time. Shame on me. I put other things before you. 
Each day I think about what life would be if we were together. I feel one day I will be ready to surrender. What did I just say about healing? I'm still healing. You're perfect in my eyes. I hope you never change. We've both changed a great deal, but I have feared that you've moved on and I'm scared that you're not going to accept me. Okay, here's the thing with the Empress. The Empress is very loving and emotionally open and giving and compassionate, but the Empress has boundaries. Okay, let's think about a mother. Let's think about a grandmother. Let's, let's think about a father. Let's think about a grandfather. If they are healthy and they have healthy boundaries, they will love you unconditionally, but they will have boundaries. I will love you. You can come in. I will feed you. I will open my arms and be like, oh my God, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're growing. I hope you're thriving. But as soon as you do something where you're stealing your line or you're doing some dirty little hamster stuff, they're going to cut you off. They're going to let you know very clearly what the problem is, how you can fix it. And then when you're ready to come back in, what are they going to do? They're going to open their arms and be like, I knew my baby was going to change. I'm so proud of you. I, it's okay. We all make mistakes. It's okay. You're growing. That's how this person views you. That's your energy. You have very firm boundaries. But they know that if they come in and say, listen, I'm sorry, you're going to be like, I know. It's okay. I know. Because you understand people are human. You can only do as much as you can do. So, be aware that there will be some sense of recommitment. This person is going to have red flags. But here's the thing. We all have red flags. What red flags are you willing to deal with? I'm embarrassed by my actions and I feel disgusted. So, there could be something again. Do you remember me saying that this person wants to apologize to you about some sense of burden, some energy? Something happened that's burdened them. Something they've said. Something they've done. Something. Something, something, something. Something's burdened them. And they feel disgusted. What did you do? They feel that this is very draining for them. This situation, this dynamic, you. I don't mean it in a bad way, but it's exhausting. Rejecting you was protecting myself. I'm sorry for being so selfish. I depend on you too much to let you go. So feeling like they can't let you go. But they are scared that you're going to reject them if they share or, again, if they're vulnerable. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to feel unloved, unvalued. They don't want to feel broken. They don't want to feel crazy. Yeah, this person could have been in a place where they were... I don't even want to say this. Trigger warning. Please do not make the shoe fit if it does not fit. This portion that I'm about to say does not have to resonate with all of you. For some of you, you're going to be like, oh my God, how did you pick up on that? I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. If you don't want to hear it, go ahead and skip through me or click off. For some of you, when you were with this person, this person was like, I can't be bothered by you. You're not my problem. You're not my priority. Whatever, Pisces. They could have even been seeing other people. They could have been entertaining other people. They could have been messing with other people. They could have just been getting their little ego stroke like it was nobody's business. And you could have hurt their ego because you could have not wanted to play games. You could have not entertained their bull crap or you could have been like, nah, I, I am not going to be another notch on your belt. Nice try though. So that could have put this person in a place of, oh, I'm going to hurt your feelings. At the end of the day, they got their own feelings hurt because them doing that has got them where? It's got them lonely, it's got them missing you, and it's got them realizing how they were showed up, how they showed up, and it's got them embarrassed. If they come towards you and say, hey, listen, you know, I was dating other people when I was with you or whatever that is for you, they're feeling really disgusted with their self. Okay, and if that part resonates with you, I just heard you wanted to act like a player, but the player just got played, is what I just heard. So this person could have wanted to act like a player. It could have wanted to be like, yeah, 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 I'm the player, I'm the player, I'm the player. You do you, boo. But they could have definitely got played, could have got played out of a good person. And now they're wanting to come in, but they're still going to be emotionally unavailable. 
I don't want to be vulnerable. Yeah. So just be aware, this person will be coming towards you. They've got red flags. They don't want to be vulnerable. This person is regretting something that happened. If you want to entertain this person, you can. Have they changed? No. They've changed a little, but in the same sense, this person's got to get to a place where they're willing to do all or nothing. And they're, they're still not. Something you'll never know and that you'll never see is that this person wishes that they could have been the person that you need and that you deserve. I think it's something that this person struggles with and I also think it's something that they'll never say to you is that this will be a big regret for them because I don't want to say that they can't help that they're emotionally unavailable. They can, but sometimes that takes time. Sometimes that takes a lot of therapy and self-reflection and we can only do so much of that in one day. Like, I mean, I've been in therapy for eight years and I am a different person, but I'm also still the same person. Please don't get it twisted. I'm still the same Danielle as I was 10 years ago. A little different, but still the same. That's what I'm getting here. Like this person can only change and evolve so much. And at the end of the day, if this doesn't work out, if this person can't get their head out of their butt and give it their all, they're gonna always wish that they could have stepped up for you. You're going to be the one that got away if they're not careful. I spent a lot of time thinking about you and wishing how things were different. See, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be the one that got away. There's nothing worse than that feeling. Mm. Okay, so very interesting. I'm going to try to go into a reading that's not love. So I'll be back.